Welcome to Prague. The land where beer is cheaper than water. The houses dance and the food is delivered by train. Join me over the next four days while I show you the best places to eat, drink, explore and where to get those Instagram worthy shots. This is my ultimate Prague travel guide. Let's begin. So first things first, where should you stay in Prague? I would recommend staying in the old town so that you get like a real authentic feel for the city and you're also really close to walking distance of all the main attractions. However, since there is six of us on this trip, we decided to spring for a penthouse in the new town. So let me give you guys a very quick tour of this place. We have four bedrooms, three en suites, two other bathrooms, two lounges, two kitchens. So what more do you want? There's plenty of room for the six of us. I'm gonna pop a link for this place down in the description and I will put the price right here on screen. All right guys, so this is the dancing building. It's like five minutes from our apartment. And you wouldn't expect such a cool building to have a pretty boring backstory. This basically houses offices and corporate events, but up on the rooftop, that's where the action happens. There's a full restaurant, full bar with lovely views over the city. Now the prices are a bit more expensive because this is like a touristy thing to do. Nevertheless, we are gonna head up there and show you guys it now. Let's go. So to enter this outside part, you need to buy a drink. It's like a hundred Czech Krone minimum to enter. Your girl got a QB Libre, it was like 160. I'll pop the conversion rate on screen for that because I'm really struggling with these conversion rates, but the view is really worth it. It's so nice and so picturesque. It's really good. Okay guys, so the next spot that I'm gonna recommend you visit while in Prague is a very unique robot bar. In here, you'll find 12 different tablets you can order by yourself, it's an introvert's dream. They make your cocktails, there's like 100 spirits hanging from the ceiling, robots make it in less than 90 seconds. So you get in, you get out, we're gonna give it a go. Our best places to drink in Prague is going to be at the very top of this hill. It is called the Lookout Bar. How's the hike going? It's tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll head up here now. Hopefully the views is worth it. I'm trying to make it up to the top before sunset. See you up there. So basically, there used to be a giant statue of Stalin here up on the hill, and they replaced it when communism fell with a metronome to represent time moving onwards. And this is a place where locals come to sort of drink in the evenings and watch the sunset. And that was fun facts at Ryan. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just got our drinks. They're like kind of similar prices to everywhere else we've been. The bar is called Stalin Bar. Now you do have to put a deposit down. You get like a little red token. It's like 50 Czech Krona per glass. The glasses have a hook. I have no idea why. But Becca hooked it to her jeans. It's Luke. So we're just going to enjoy a drink up here at sunset. Hand these glasses back. And I think we're going to head up to a bar that is further up the top called Lookout. We'll take you there next. Alright guys, so we are now here at Lookout Bar. It's a gorgeous like up in the hill spot in the park. It overlooks the entire city. So I would definitely recommend getting here for sunset set but just be warned it is cash only but there is ATMs up here however I have heard that they're kind of like a higher rate so maybe get your cash downstairs it's very popular between tourists and locals alike so cheers all right guys so we found like the perfect sundowner spot it's in a park here I'm gonna get Johan our friend here from Prague to tell you a little bit about it if you've ever been to London it's the equivalent of sitting up the top of Greenwich Park or Primrose Hill and you can even bring your own drinks if you want to save yourself some little bucks but if you don't want to do that there is a cafe over there where you can go buy beers refreshments you can use the bathroom and I would 10 out of 10 recommend to a friend this park is called Regrove Sade and you can easily get here from Old Town by taking a metro <laughs> and it's a beautiful spot to see over the Prague chill in the sun and have a good beer <laughs> All right, so they say that absinthe is the green fairy drink. However, this place calls it the green devil and it definitely gives off that vibe. It's very like Tales of the Crypt, but it had rave reviews. So we thought we'd come and give it a go. There's over 100 types of absinthe and they go up to 80%. And on top of that, they also have some sort of cocaine vodka. I'm probably gonna have to bleep out that word because of YouTube monetization. It's definitely worth come giving a go. You'll see our reaction shortly. <laughs> Did somebody write my name on that? It says Lauren C. And a six behind it. Six is my birth month. June baby. Yeah. Oh, hell, that's very good. Isn't it? What do you think? Quite a medicinal. Yeah. Medicinal. Yeah, just yeah. yeah. like medicine. Medicinal. Yes. Are you filming this? Yeah. 
not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the first impression? I don't like it. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever used the uh, Bongella? That's what this tastes like. This with this, yes. There's this yeah. specific oh, brand of cough syrup in the Netherlands. That's it makes me feel like a kid again. <laughs> what? Now the railway restaurant, it's just opposite Primark, it's on the outskirts of town. You can come for drinks just if you want, it doesn't matter what you order, everything is brought by train directly to your table. Now you put the glasses on, it takes it back, it's kind of like a cool way to do self-service. We're going to test it out now, I'll put the price of our drink down below. I got a rum cocktail with some lemon, I've yet to try it, let me give it a taste. Wow! That's good. All right, so we got the beer flight, which is cutely called a beer train because it's basically just a whole long train. It's four beers, different flavors. This one right here is a lager, really nice light beer. This one here is something called an IPL. Never had it before. Quite all right. All of this, by the way, is 175 crowns. Lauren will put the conversion rate on screen. This here is an IPA, which I don't really like, so I'm not going to try it. And this here is a darker lager which is really good. And none of them are Pilsners, which kind of surprises me because I think it's invented here, but still, great beers. All right guys, so your girl got a pulled beef burger, some chips, some sort of like pepper mayo. Let's give it a shot. By the way, if you come here, like wear a t-shirt and shorts because it's like 100 degrees inside here. <laughs> Literally hot as Hades. Cheers. It's nice, it's like a basic whole burger. It's not dry at home, but it is nice. You basically come for the novelty of the trains and the good cocktails. Let's tuck in and enjoy this. I'll take you to the next spot after. We're now down here at the Voltava River and just behind me there is a swing set where you can get gorgeous views over the riverbank and the buildings behind us and I would 10 out of 10 recommend this as a sick Instagram spot. It's not overly discovered on Instagram yet so get down here before you've got a queue for 20 minutes to get that shot. Alright guys, so we are now here at Powdergate Tower and this is another Instagram spot. It's not really widely known on Instagram just yet, so get here early and get here before everybody else finds out about it. Myself and Becca got some epic shots. I'll pop them on screen now for you so you can see what you can expect if you want to get your Instagram worthy shots here. Moving on! I guess I woke up on the right side of the bed Got a new song singing inside my head No cares in the world cause I gave Guys, so the next stop on our Instagram worthy tour is of course the very obvious Charles Bridge and if you do want any good shots you've got to get here bright and early but it's very beautiful. I believe it's like one of the oldest medieval bridges in the world. You've got beautiful sights but make sure you get up here for sunrise or sunset because otherwise the lighting's pretty harsh and it's quite busy. But if our photos are good I will pop them on screen now. Go follow myself and Becca. Like me, then you're probably wondering why the Beatles legend John Lennon has a wall here in Prague. No, he's not Prague, he's not Czech, he's nothing to do with it. Basically, after he died in 1980, the Czech youth decided to build this and make it like a symbol of like freedom and the anti violence movement. It's very nice, very Instagramable. I would recommend coming here early to get your shots. As always, sunrise or sunset. And that's it. All right guys, next stop that I would recommend that you check out while you're here in Prague is the Idiom installation. There's 8,000 books and basically they're all stacked in a circular formation. There's a mirror at the top and there's a mirror at the bottom so it looks like there's an infinite amount of books. And fittingly, it's at the entrance to the library for Prague. Now we were just saying like, what if this is holding the whole structure and you take out one book and everything collapses? I want to take a book. <laughs> Okay, so not something you would expect to find hanging on a meat hook inside the entrance of a church. But basically, here is a mummified hand. It's an actual human hand attached to an arm and the story goes like this. So a homeless man, way back when, came in here on a cold winter's night, took refuge in the church and he saw a bejeweled statue. He thought he'd steal it. When he goes to reach for it, the statue comes to life and grabs his arm. Then basically the statue holds on until the parishioners come the next morning, they chop off his arm and they hang it up there as a warning to all thieves. And that's how the story goes. Well, that's why there is a mummified, it's an actual human arm hanging in the entrance of this church. Something to see. Three, 
wins. Two, one, go! <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Ryan! Keep going! We're getting on us! Go! Go! Dude, this is leg day! Do not give up! Oh, I'm so dead! <laughs> I think we won, so... <laughs> and that was the pedalos. All right, guys, so my final stop that I'm going to recommend to you is Strelecki Ostrinov. And this is basically just like an island in between the Vltava River. And on it, there's these little like beaver creatures. I don't know if they're beavers exactly, but they look like part of the beaver family. And they come right up to like the banks of the river and they come up and if you take some leaves off the tree and feed them, they'll come running up to you. Just don't get too close like I did because they are like notoriously diseased. So just be careful of that. You don't want to go home with a rabies shop. A few moments later. <laughs> and could recommend to a friend. Definitely something cool and unique to do while you're here in Prague. And that is it guys, that is my top things that you should do while you're here in Prague. We have discovered all the places that you should eat, drink, explore, see, and where you should get those Instagram worthy shots. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Oh shit, shit, shit. Ah, I'm not <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <laughs> We've been hiking for at least 45 seconds and I'm already done. But I'm a one take wonder. Yeah. Now? Now? I know. I know. Come on, be shaky. Cheers.